Hey guys! Well, we're all kind of getting in the holiday spirit, I'm sure, as we get closer to Christmas, and I wanted to do a look, um, sort of an entire face look that was inspired by the holidays, and so I want to focus today, I've already put on my foundation and some powder and just a little dusting of bronzer, as you can see I've done this eye, <laughs> and the rest of my face I'm going to do here for you and just give you some ideas for a really classic um, holiday look, it's going to be the red lips, um, sort of a simple eye, and um, some really fresh cheeks. So I've already, like I said, just done a, a light dusting of some matte bronzer, so if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, my next step will be the blush. So what I'm going to start off with is a cream blush. This is from Revlon and the color is First Blush and it's really a, like a red cream shade basically so don't be intimidated by it. I'm going to swirl my finger in it a little bit, get a little bit on my finger like that and then just kind of rub a little bit right into the apple of my cheek. And it blends easily it's still subtle, but just keep it on the apple of your cheek. And you can see, you know, kind of, you're kind of getting that flush that you can really only get from a shade like this. It's really interesting uh, how the red shades uh, give you a really natural look. So I'm just blending. And there we go. So that's kind of going to act as our base color. And then for a little pop of color on top of that, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Natural Radiance Blusher, and the color is Flushed. And it is kind of a deep, sort of, it has a little bit of a fuchsia tone to it almost. So once again, don't be scared of the color. Just tap your brush in. A little bit goes a long way with this product. And just sweep that on the apple of your cheek and just back slightly. And now you should be getting that nice glow as if you were just outside in the cold and you came in and your and your cheeks are red. <laughs> and then if you like to have a little contour, I know I usually talk about my CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Golden Pink as a contour shade, but if you want one more option that is very similar to that, try the Neutrogena Soft Color Blush in Blushing Mocha. It's very similar to that shade. Just get a little on the brush. And of course, the regular contour position, squeezing the cheeks. And just go where the shadow, you know, sort of starts to form. Just like that. Feel free to use this to kind of contour other areas. It's not shimmery, so you can get away with that. And then, lastly, what's, you know, a holiday look without just a little bit of shimmer? So I'm going to use my Sally Girl Shimmer Stripes in LOL. It's kind of a pinky shimmer. And just dust your uh, brush in it and kind of go right on top of the cheekbone is where I like to apply some shimmer. And just kind of across the forehead. Just keep it light. Don't go overboard with it. But that's kind of getting you, alright, your face is kind of in the mode of the, uh, it's kind of a glow. It's getting those sort of um, red cheeks for, for straying a little bit from a super bronzy uh, look that I, I usually use, kind of go for the more tan look. This is sort of a little more fresh faced with just a, a sort of reddish tone to the cheeks. Now for lips, um, I'm going to really be using a chapstick first. Uh, just any chapstick will do. This is the true shimmer from chapstick, but it's really not that shimmery, so don't worry about it. Just anything to get your lips ready for some liner because it's going to be basically liner and gloss is all we're doing here. This is um, another le even less expensive to the uh, alternative to the Rimmel uh, shade in Ravish. It's the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Ravish. This is um, Jordana Easy Liner in Plush Plum. Um, Jordana liners come two for three dollars. So it's quite a bit cheaper than just buying the one or the others. I kind of realize sometimes I recommend the same products over and over, so I do want to give you some alternatives that may not necessarily all the time be cheaper, but just another similar product if maybe you don't have access to that other brand in your store. So just go ahead and line your lips with this.
And basically what we're going to end up with here is the classic berry lip. And the lip will be a little stronger than the eye in this look. Which is a little different from my usual tutorials. So I'm just really defining that uh, Cupid's bow area. I can always do the bottom a lot faster. <laughs> now, this is just a gorgeous uh, reddish plum shade. I just really like this shade. And then over the top of that, since that really just, it's creamy, it feels almost, by the time you're done filling in your whole mouth with it, it feels like a lipstick. And then over the top, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Plumping Lip Glaze and Ruby Kiss. So I'm pretty much just going to use this shade, which I believe does not have the plumping agent, but that's not exactly what I'm going for. I just want that red gloss over the top. So, just going to apply that all over. And now you got a nice shine there. Feel free to blot if you feel like you need to after that, but... How's that for the red, you know, holiday lips? So now we're going to move on to eyes. So I'm going to switch up my camera angle a little bit here for you. So you can really see what I'm talking about. So this is the eye look we went with, that I went with um, to start off. I'm just going to blend this out just a little bit more. Basically what it is, it's so, so easy. We're not going overboard on color, obviously. We're keeping it just kind of really letting the liner be the statement here and and uh, just using some very neutral easy to use shades from my NYX Trio we're using the white pearl shade in this this is the white pearl silver and charcoal we're just going to be using white pearl and charcoal so um, go ahead and take the white pearl and put that all over your lid And this is also going to be our highlight, so feel free to, you know, just get a little bit up there on the brow bone as well. Not, Don't put it on thick, but just give a little light to that area. And then we're going to take, this is so easy, this is so not like a, an extensive tutorial here. Dip into the charcoal shade, that deep, deeper gray. And we're just going to basically go back and forth in our crease keeping it really not much of a factor here we're just we just want to deepen the, the crease shade and keep it kind of natural like nobody would really point to this and say ooh that's really smoky or anything like that we just want to naturally just enhance the shadow that we that our eye already creates there okay so as you can see, there we are. Very easy, simple. And then I'm going to take my uh, Maybelline Define Align liner and go from inner corner to outer corner. I'm actually going to use my little mirror here for you. This glides on really easy, and it's more smudgeable than color stay, and that's why I'm using it here. Um, staying power may not be quite as good as Revlon Color Stay, but it creates a really nice effect and especially for those, you know, events that you're that you're going to and that kind of thing. It'll get you through the night. Sorry if I'm covering that up. And just lightly I'm going really light actually. I mean I know it's coming up with more contrast because we're up so close to the camera, but I'm really lightly kind of dotting that basically between my lower lashes. It has a, a, a handy little smudger at the end. And I'm just gonna smudge all that out. Not necessarily I wouldn't call it really smoky, we're just softening the line. And then we're going to curl our lashes. And always lift up as you do so. 
and do it for about 15 seconds. Within that time, kind of lift up and extend, you know, to another point on the lashes so you really get an easy curve there. And then I'm just going to apply my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara. Just a great classic black mascara. And just kind of wiggle it from root to tip of the lashes. This really has a great volumizing effect and it's just I just really like this mascara. I kind of used it for a while, kind of forgot about it actually. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat on my other eye while we're here with that. And do one more on this other eye. And there you go. You can see the eye. We just kept it natural. We kept it pretty neutral. The lips are kind of the statement for this look. Um, I hope you guys like this. I hope you find it as something that you can use during the holidays just to kind of give your face some glow. You know, use those, those blushes that you may not normally use. You want the color here and here. And then just keep the eyes pretty. You know, focus on the lashes, do a little bit of dark liner, but you can see why this would be a nice look to take to your holiday parties and gatherings, and um, it's just very appropriate for the season. So thanks for watching.